Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. This is Jackass Retro. My name is Matt, and uh, today we have for you a weekly uh, What Sold Postcards Only video. Uh, we do this every week, so we can take a look at what I'm selling. Um, definitely a little bit of a slower week this week. We had, uh, by the numbers, 36 postcards uh, for about $215. Now, I, I think that's not necessarily slower by quantity. It was definitely a lower value cards going out. Um, and I think that's largely ha having to do with the fact that I'm listing lower priced cards now. So... Um, even though that number is going to go up, the dollar value may not as quickly. Um, I think that'll be a bit of a um, longer climb. Uh, if it's your first time here and you like this content, please consider subscribing. Uh, it, you can also find links to my postcard galleries on our Facebook page. Uh, you can buy me a coffee and see all the products I use in the links down below. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get ourselves started. All righty. So first up, this is California Redwoods. Uh, Chrome postcard. I'm going to grab my seat here, pardon me. Chrome postcard, we got a tree uh, traveling through the Redwoods. Up here, the Sequoia Semperverens, I believe is how you say it. Uh, not a huge, huge money card, and that's okay. Uh, this one actually sold for uh, $2.95 free shipping. Pretty common, actually, so I'm, I'm just fine with what I got on that. Not a big deal. Next up, the... Ride a cock horse. Pause for laughter. Uh, this one sold for sixteen fifty. I had it up for nineteen ninety five. Took an offer. Uh, turned down several lower offers before I took this one. Probably could have held out for a little more money. It's a very cute postcard. Uh, not sure what all that is written on the back, but uh, you know, cats riding a horse. What's not to like? So yeah, sixteen fifty uh, plus shipping. We got the Riverside Boathouse in Wichita, Kansas. Uh, nice view here. Um, I've got this actual view um, from a few different eras. So I like the color of the water, the boats. You know, kind of nice Edwardian scene. People uh, hanging out in a river. Yeah. Unposted. This one sold for six ninety five, dollars uh, free shipping. Here's another one. Uh, turned down a couple of offers. It eventually just sold at full asking price, which was $19.95 plus $1 shipping. This is uh, entrance to the Park Hill Elevator in Yonkers, New York. Nice old antique car there in the foreground. Uh, we can take a look at what it looked like. There's what the front one looked like. Clearly some condition issues. Again, what I like about postcards, you know, this is not something I got to send away to get graded. Uh, looks like it was set to go out to Mrs. Uh, something Doran, but was never sent. So yeah, 1995 uh, plus shipping. Very happy with that one. Uh, we've got Haywood Street looking north in Asheville, North Carolina. Clearly, linen postcard. For those of you still learning here, we can very clearly see the hatching and the texture. Nice street view postcard. Again, there's another vocab word for you. Uh, some old cars. We got some of the uh, street signs there. So this card definitely had quite a bit going for it. Uh, this is in Asheville, North Carolina. And uh, sold on a uh, offer sent out to buyer for $5.00. Uh, free shipping. This one showed up last week, but I had two, and they both sold to different buyers a few days apart. Hotel Embassy, Los Angeles, California, another linen postcard. Uh, very nice. I like the uh, just, it's a good, colorful, stands out, 
um, the fading of the buildings around it really makes this pop. And when I listed it, it looked basically, I just cut out everything and just was like, all right, I'm going to use that poppy, poppy image. And there we go. So this one sold for $4.95, uh, free shipping. These next two went out to the same buyer. So we have greetings from the old Southwest and greetings from the great Southwest. Uh, the customer used a, uh, I, I offer a 10% discount if it, for buying two or more cards. Uh, this customer took advantage of that. So they got both of these cards for a total of seven fifty, dollars free shipping. Um, both of them are linen, both of them unposted. Uh, typical large letter greeting, you know, the, when we see this, if you're, if you're here just learning, when you see these big spell outs like this, um, typically referred to as large letter during the linen era, this is very, very common. And I think this is iconic sort of postcard, um, imagery, right? You have the big letters with little windows of different scenes and whatnot. So, um, both of these cards, very cool and, and it actually sold pretty quickly. Another linen postcard, this is Wacker Drive and the Chicago River by night. Uh, very common card. I just priced competitively at a price I, I thought would get it to sell. Turns out I was right, $3.95, free shipping. Another, um, this is white border, right? So the, in the era of postcards, white border, um, pretty hard to screw that one up although you can confuse them with linen sometimes if you if you don't know the difference but um this is the coast highway in santa monica california we got a lot of cars on the highway there again not an uncommon card so price it at a price that i could sell it at which was 395 free shipping so this one is i mean kind of interesting so this is a sort of staged hotel room for Little America. And in this case, it's Cheyenne, Wyoming, right? Uh, but it's got the other ones, Little America, Wyoming, Flat Salt Lake City, and Flagstaff. So I have this exact same image, but on the back of the card, it's only Flagstaff. And I think I have one that's only um, uh, Salt Lake City. So uh i what what they probably did over at the uh, best western ad department was just print up a bunch of these change the change the location on the back and send it out to the various hotels to um to hand out to their customers so uh it's it is a cool i mean the colors in the room very vintage uh you know I could see like going to this place and drinking like a mint julep or something. Um, so this one sold for $2.95 uh, with free shipping. And I had a few of them available. So it was a multi-quantity listing. And yeah. Oh, no. It's the return of the creepy, creepy, creepy hedgehogs. <sighs> uh, last one, though. Happy about that. Um Again, the artist here is a person named Mikey Deal, or Mikey Deal, anamorphic creepy hedgehog, drinking some wine at under a Christmas tree with some hippie pants. <laughs> this one sold for seven ninety five, uh, free shipping. Yep, free shipping. Uh, this one sold very, very quickly, like within a couple of hours. Um, this is the uh, Eureka, California, St. Joseph Hospital parking lot. <laughs> um, there we go. Clearly some condition issues once again, but sold for $5.95 free shipping. I was actually considering pricing this one up a little bit, but I'm still happy with that. I mean, I got nothing into these, so it's all it's all just money. Again, sold very quickly, and I think it's because um, I used Disneyland in the title. There are plenty of these out there. Uh, this is the West Winds Trailer Lodge, half a mile south of Disneyland, one of California's finest, which is clearly a total lie. Look at this janky place. 
Will you swim in that pool? I'm not going to swim in that pool. Uh, clearly not one of California's finest. But uh, somebody bought the postcard for $2.95 free shipping. We've got another Chrome postcard here. This is uh, Redlands, California. Looking east on State Street, we got a lot of cool cars on the street. People crossing the street there. There we go. The world's largest naval orange center. Or they were at the time. Uh, just a nice street view card. Redlands, California. Uh, I believe that's the uh, like the entrance to Yosemite. I may be incorrect there, but. Uh, this one's been up for a while. It's uh, 1909, Birmingham, Alabama, the interior of the First Methodist Episcopal Church. This one sold at full asking price, no offer for $15.95 uh, plus shipping. Um, very nice, just color to the card. It's, it's just an appealing looking card, in my opinion. The symmetry of it uh, just looks vintage. Very cool. Posted here within Alabama, going to da Miss Daisy Graves in Cupertino, California. Uh, that tells me that I got this one out of the uh, postcard album that I bought in the Bay Area last August. Um, I know Miss Daisy Graves quite well at this point. Uh, next. Again, sold very quickly, but not an uncommon card. This is a uh, you know automobile comic card. Uh, the fellow who drives well with one hand is seldom good with the other. Now, here in 2021, uh, you know that caption might mean something very different. But then I believe it has to do with having his arm around a around a goyle. Anyways, we've got uh, unposted nice card uh, sold for 3.95. Uh, free shipping. Can you guys see the text ring? Is this a linen card? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. All right. This is the Hotel Cleveland and Terminal Tower in Cleveland, Ohio. I have a bunch of cards from this location. It's not an uncommon subject by any means. Um, I think maybe this front image sold it. I don't know. I also wasn't asking to kill him. $2.95 free shipping. I listed a whole bunch of these. Um, they're very similar to this right around the same time, uh, right at the same price. And this is the only one that sold. So maybe somebody was trying to round out a collection of Hotel Cleveland. I don't know. Nobody knows. We'll never know. Uh, the Elizabethan Room in the Congress Hotel in Annex, Chicago. Very cool interior view card. Look at all those Tiffany lamps. Man, that place looks just like it has age, right? It looks like something out of The Great Gatsby. Um, I'd love to go hang out in there. Not now, but then. Unposted. Nice card. Uh, this one's sold, by the way. I would probably tell you that. $7.95 free shipping. Uh, Creighton University in Omaha, Nebraska. We've got uh, Acme Graph as the publisher here. Um, see a lot of Acme Graph cards from this era. Uh, nice colors. Pops really nice. Kind of building stands out. Um, not super rare card or anything like that, but sold for $5.95 free shipping. This one, um, I, I could have maybe held out for a little more money. It sold on a slow day, so I took an offer. Uh, this is the Monte Cristo uh, Peak. It, uh, pardon me. Let me back up. This is Monte Cristo, Washington. Yes, Washington State has a location. Uh, it's a old gold town, abandoned now, but it's a tourist attraction, uh, you know, named after a... Uh, Deep fried ham sandwich. Um, Froggy Peak and Mystery Ridge. Uh, so Froggy Peak, I believe, is on the right, and Mystery Ridge right there on the left. We've got a tour center down here, parking lot with some cars. This one sold. I took an offer, like I said, for $10 plus shipping. 
I think I had it up for fourteen ninety five. In retrospect, I probably would have gone like nineteen ninety five make offer on this and hope to get fifteen. Uh, I don't. I think this is a pretty uncommon subject card, so you know, chalk that up to uh, learning a little bit. Tropical Sunset over Sarasota Bay, Florida. Uh, I think probably my front of the card, kind of focusing on that, filling up the nice colors in the, the first view, probably helped this one out. It's definitely very common, but it sold for seven bucks um, with uh, free shipping. Skyline, you, you know, a lot of linen cards this week. Interesting. Not a lot of like older divided back it's a lot of chrome and a lot of uh, linen just kind of noticing that now so anyways uh skyline from the harbor in chicago unused metro craft this one sold for 6.95 free shipping chrome postcard very modern 2005 Stan Musial's uh, plaque at the Cooperstown Baseball Hall of Fame. I listed a whole bunch of these um, all at once. This is the first that sold. Um, $3.95 free shipping. I just listed, I think, maybe 20 of them. They're all from the same year. Individually, took me like maybe 10 minutes to do all of them. All I did was just change the name and uh, list the cards. So very happy with that. We've got a Disneyland postcard. Uh, this is the Rainbow Caverns in Frontierland. I don't believe this is there anymore. I think it's been changed because the whole uh, Tom Sawyer, Huckleberry Finn thing obviously was mounted with some tape at some time. There's the residue. We can see that. Uh, I am very surprised that this one took so long to sell. It's such a cool looking card. Like, if you remember ever being there, like, it's lit from under the water. And as you're walking through the caves, there's, like, fake jewels sort of embedded in the rock walls that are backlit. So they sparkle. So I, I really miss that at Disneyland. It's been a while since I've been. I don't know if it's still there, but I'm pretty sure it's gone. Oh, by the way, six ninety five free shipping. Here we have an aerial view of the beach and pier in Jacksonville, Florida. Sold for $11.95, free shipping. Um, unposted. Got the Ferris wheel in the foreground. We got the cars on the beach. We got the pier. We got a lot going on here. I kind of focused in on this. Fill up the image and still get a little bit of everything there. Next up, uh, Seminole Indian Children of Silver Springs, Florida. Another linen postcard. Uh, very cute kids. See Silver Springs, sort of a advertising thing. One of the, one of the things that you know uh, you may notice if you're dealing with a lot of postcards is the Native Americana during this time is very much dealt with as if they are a tourist attraction in every case um, versus, you know, if you look at a lot of the black Americana cards, it's done in, you know, in a very derogatory cartoonish way. Um, I think it's just interesting to contrast the, the, you know, how those two different minorities are portrayed. Um, you know, the native Americans are, were really viewed as like a spectacle or something almost, you know, just out of entertainment, like I said, a tourist attraction. So, um, you know, they show up on postcards all the time and it's, uh, it's interesting just to think about. So, um, this one sold for $5 with free shipping. We got some daffodils. This is very, I like this card quite a bit. It's very pretty. Um, you know, daffodils, very, very common sort of subject matter for a floral postcard. This one's an Ed Mitchell. Um, so West Coast publisher, 1910. We've got the date there. Uh, nice colors on this one. Um, and it sold for $3.95 free shipping. Another linen postcard, Civic Auditorium in San Jose, California. 
uh, sold for, oh, I lost, oh, there it is, $3.95 uh, free shipping. 1942 dated for us. Here's an older one. Uh, this is World War One era. Uh, so I've got a few of these, and there's there's like there's one for the Navy, there's one for the uh, Army, and they it's kind of these like clever. I wouldn't say it's a comic, but it's sort of like a clever romantic image. And this one is the Navy, a sailor's knot. Because look, they're in a knot. Isn't that nice? Uh, look at the way she's gazing into his eyes. Unposted. Uh, this one sold for seven fifty-five on a make offer. It, it the make offer was like five percent off, and they took it. So uh, we've got a courthouse in Galveston, Texas. Uh, very cool, undivided back, 1906, undivided back because there's no line for whatever. Again, going out to Miss Daisy Graves in Cupertino, California, so we know where we got this one. This came from that uh, postcard album. Uh, this particular card sold for $24 plus first-class shipping. Uh, another one I probably could have held out a little bit, but I'm okay. Uh, this is a Chrome postcard, Newport, Washington, the Cantrell Motel. So this actually is not too far from where I used to live uh, or where I grew up. Um, I don't remember it being there, so it must have been long gone by the time uh, I was young. Uh, unposted. So at the junctions of Highway 26 and 195. So this is like uh, over southeast of Bellevue, Washington, I believe. Not that anyone cares, but uh, this one is sold for $12 uh, plus shipping. This is the uh, American, it's pardon me, this is in Americus, Georgia. This is the Minnesota Soldier Civil War Monument. Um, so the in researching this, this park, uh, it's a state park, has a number of Civil War monuments to the Union Army, which is interesting. You know, with all this on, on you know, various monuments in the, from the Civil War era being so um, controversial at the moment, which is understandable, um, that, the, that Georgia has a park with, you know, many, many Union soldier monuments so uh, just interesting little tidbit that one sold by the way for 375 uh free shipping we've got a nice cactus in bloom pretty color pretty toning um a lot of uh a lot of text on the back here just had breakfast at needles something some coffee. I want to tell you all, I had a swell breakfast. Riveting. Anyways, it's a Foss Tint card. So I think I'm saying that right. It might be Foss Tint, but Foss Tint down here. And that has to do with the toning of the card. Um, you'll see that on, uh, you know, there's a lot of different publishers that will put that on there. I think Detroit Publishing is one of them. This one is, oh, Detroit Publishing. Well, there you go. Next up, uh, very nice. This one went overseas, so it's a best wishes. Uh, I had to research the bird. I'm not a birder, um, but uh, you know what I came up with. I'm pretty sure it's a goldfinch. Um, not positive. And you know, if you're getting into postcards. Now, if you're if you do research something and you are relatively confident that there is a piece of information on the card that you can use to help sell it, whether or not you're hundred percent, just use it. All right. If now if you are right and you are appealing to the right collectors, you're gonna find them and they are going to buy your card. If you're wrong, those same collectors are going to find your card and tell you you're wrong and then you can fix it. Um, <laughs> I think I was right on this one because somebody overseas decided to uh, pay for shipping, $14 to ship the card, only paid me $6 to, 
to buy the card. So, um, I don't know. What do you think? Is it a Goldfinch? Unposted, embossed, very nice card. Very pretty. Next, we've got Christmas Wishes. This is a Newman postcard company postcard. A Merry Christmas. It doesn't show up real well down here. But very nice, pretty card. Pine boughs. We got the star. We've got a little house and a ring of other stars. I'm not going to try to read that. Uh, this one sold uh, $12.95. Um, I had it at $14.95, sent out an offer for two bucks off, and somebody took it. So there's that. All right. It's it's a chicken. Hey, chicken, how's it hanging? A lot of people want to eat you, but I just want to talk to you, okay? We should do a film together. What do you think? Hey, chicken, I'm not joking around, okay? This is the real thing. I mean, this could be huge. All right, well, think about it. Say hi to your mother for me, all right? Now I'm going to talk to a goat. <laughs> I can't, that just makes me giggle. I love the Mark Wahlberg talks to, uh, talks to animals. <laughs> Say hi to your mother for me. Anyways, um, these, these last two here are both hip postcard orders. Uh, we've got the Chesterfield Cigarette Factory in Durham, uh, which sold for $14.95 plus shipping. I like the little lady down here. Very 50s kind of thing. And it's Chesterfield, right? Like, you know, 9 out of 10 doctors recommend smoking Chesterfield cigarettes. Uh, and finally, Pond Chartrain Beach and Amusement Park in New Orleans, Louisiana. Nice view of the amusement park. Some people swimming in the water. Very nice coloring. Obviously, linen postcard. This one sold for $6.95. Free shipping. It's an unposted. Lots of linen this week. Wonder why that is. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is that. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you like this kind of content, please make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Uh, I do videos pretty much almost every day. Uh, I am have the technically the largest uh, semi-daily live eBay shipping show on YouTube. So if you hit that bell notification button, you'll be notified anytime I go live. Um, I thank you very much once again for watching and uh, say hi to your mother for me.